Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with another review and today I wanted to do kind of like a comparison of the Dior No Powder uh, powder, I believe that's the name of it, against the Dior uh, Cushion Forever Powder. A couple people have asked me which one do I like better, and I do prefer the Cushion Powder a little bit uh, better than the um, No Powder Powder, <laughs> because I feel like this really does keep my face matte. These both are setting powders. This is just a pressed powder, and this is a loose powder. Even though, depending on what shade you get in your complexion, you can use this as a bronze powder powder. I do have two shades. I have the shade 5N and I have the shade 6N and in the cushion powder I have um, the shade deep. So I'm going to read a little bit about each powder and then I'm going to apply um, each powder to one side of my face. So I'm going to start with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Powder. No powder. This is a perfecting translucent powder that blurs for a natural radiant finish and mattifying long wear. Okay, the Dior Forever Cushion pow Loose Powder is the first loose powder by Dior with a sparkling silver tone. Monogram is set to make up. It's velvety matte. It's glow minus the powdery effect. Dust it all over your complexion in the morning to set your makeup and slip it into your makeup bag for touch-ups on the go. Okay, as you see, reading a little bit about each powder, they're kind of similar as far as what they're supposed to do. So anyway, I'm going to apply, I think, the Dior No Powder Powder to the left side of my face and the Cushion Powder on the right side of my hey, face. Hey y'all, so I already have foundation on and um, I'm going to put concealer on. And the concealer I'm using today is the Luminous Silk by Giorgio Armani. Okay, and for the no powder powder, I'm going to just use the shade 5N. So I'm just going to... And 5N is definitely not a shade that will give me like a highlighted look under my eyes. I use it to set under my eye and all over my face. Okay, so now I'm going to go on the right side of my face with the same concealer. Okay, so now that that's blended out, now I'm going to go in with the cushion powder. This is what it looks like. Just dip my brush. my face looks like with the Dior cushion powder on so far I really don't see a difference right now okay y'all I'm back this is what my face is looking like um as of right now my face looks okay it looks like I have just one powder on I really can't tell that I use two different setting powders on each side of my face but I do feel like the right side of my face looks a little more matte let me zoom in and hopefully you guys will be able to see what I'm talking about. Yeah, like I feel like the left side of my face, like right up in here, looks a little more, I don't want to say shiny, but I guess radiant is the word I'm looking for. Right on the right side of my face, my face looks matte to me. I don't know. Hopefully y'all see what I'm talking about. But yeah, overall I do like how my face looks. What I'm basically gonna do is an all day wear test and come back and see which powder looks better, which one held up the best throughout the day. So, and I hope this will help somebody if they were deciding or thinking about going to pick up the Dior Cushion Powder because as of right now, you can only get it on Selfridges and pay a $30 shipping fee. So this could possibly help save somebody some money. But anyway, I'm going to be back in a couple hours. Hey I'm back. This is what my face is looking like. I've had each powder on my face for about eight hours now. Overall, I do feel like the Dior Cushion Powder performed a lot better all throughout the day. And I forgot to mention earlier, I did feel like this Cushion Powder actually blurred my pores. It really just made my face look a little bit more flawless, I felt like. And the I left side with the no powder powder on my face, I am a lot more shinier. Like the right side of my face stayed matte all day. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you guys see what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm a little bit more shinier like around my nose. Even though I get shiny 
around this area anyway but i feel like this side of my face is still a little bit more matte than the left side the left side of my face looks a little more radiant not that there's nothing wrong with radiant but it's just i'm oily and i prefer to be matte throughout the day so um, this video will help narrow down someone's decision on whether or not if they were deciding between both powders and i forgot to mention earlier that the dior um backstage no powder body powder um retails for 40 dollars, and this retails for i believe 55 or 58 but if you order it off selfridges which i think that's like the only place you can get it as right now you're going to be paying 50 dollars, 55 dollars plus 30 dollars or whatever the shipping cost it is to wherever you live at so it's definitely a big difference as to price um i just prefer this powder a lot better i mean they're both good this one i feel like is more for on the go touch-ups even though when i read the description earlier they both could be used as on the go kind of powders to touch up your face i don't really think i would take this with me in my bag because it is a loose powder and these are a lot more messier this is more of a press so this is much easier to work with if you're um taking this out with you like on the go or whatever but i do feel like being that i have oily skin this just really performs much better as far as controlling my oils and keeping my face matte throughout the day but anyway y'all those are my thoughts on both powders and my wear test so don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see y'all later